Welcome to day uh, 1,945 of our uh, homestay. And so for the t this week's uh, quarantini, we're going to do uh, two versions, both involving cranberry. So cranberry juice, a uh, nice uh, thing to be drinking. Uh, you can use either real cranberry juice or the, the cranberry cocktail, sweet and stuff. Cranberries, interesting shrub grown in much of the northern, uh, much of the uh, temperate regions of the world in wetland slash bog. So it's a, it's a wetlandy drink. Okay, so for this, <clears throat> two versions. The first is just going to be a cranberry uh, vodka and Saint Germain, which is an elderflower. Uh, uh, liqueur, which I always thought was quite old, but actually the, this particular version was only started being made about 20 years or so ago. But the bottle makes it look very old. But anyway, so Saint Germain, very cool. So that that's the the core one, and then we'll do a variant where we do the same thing, but we'll throw some uh, gin in instead of the vodka. So uh, so there we go. So again, practicing good social distancing because we don't want to, you know, the curves begin to flatten these days, but we don't want it to to re-erect itself or whatever the technical term is. Uh, so, okay, so uh, first we have to get everything open. So we got to make sure that, you know, we get a good social distance here. So, uh, oh man, my foot is getting so tired of doing this uh, uh, week after week, uh, but need to do it for social distancing. Uh, uh, Woo, uh, I got to do more stretching, okay. So uh, first, uh, because this is another presentation one, we have a couple uh, glasses. We're gonna do one variant and one glass, one variant and another glass. Saucy little fine arts festival glass. Um, and so again, for that, we're just going to uh, sugar rim the glasses. Okay, so now to do this, we're gonna do, uh, it's gonna be pretty simple. We'll start with our first, our standard version, our standard uh, version. So we just have our shaker with some ice in here. And we're gonna do uh, two parts, uh, two parts vodka. This first one's gonna be a vodka based one. So we're gonna do two parts vodka. So we'll go one, two, okay. One part Saint Germain. And one part cranberry juice. So we'll shake that one up, and then the other variant we're going to do is going to be... Get a rabbit ready. It's going to be uh, same thing, but again, we're going to swap the gin in the place of the um, vodka. So we're going to do two parts. One part cranberry juice. Two parts vodka. One part it's as if I've already had a little bit uh, already. Quarantining. I've had a little, I've been already quarantining too early today. Okay, there we go. All right, so do that, and then what we're gonna do is just tap these bad boys and shake them. Yeah, you're gonna shake them for uh, 30 seconds. And then it didn't sound like 30 seconds. Then, it was 30 seconds, keep going. Okay, right, right, right. So this is our, uh, so we'll do a little bit of, this, okay. and then we'll add this bad boy in here. Okay, and then we're just gonna take a little bit, now you should normally use cranberries, but the a weird, weird world of the quarantine did not allow us to have cranberries, so we're using raspberry. And so we'll just throw a couple raspberries in here, a little color, a little color, you know, a little fruit, a little fruit, a little fruit. And then we'll finish that off with a little teeny bit of a squidge of lime. Okay, good. And then we'll do a little decoration with our lime wedge there and lime wedge there. And so now you have your uh, cranberry quarantini. Everybody stay safe. Uh, uh, keep writing those grants, keep writing those pop, th those uh, op-eds, keep writing those uh, class lectures. And everybody stay safe. I'm going to enjoy my cranberry corn teeny.